Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Lurak and welcome to another episode. Hope you're all having a lovely day. And yeah, today we're drawing Hollow Knight or yeah, the the vessel from Hollow Knight more specifically. Uh, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to do him next as I like wrapped up playing the game basically on my Twitch, played through it and yeah, I don't know. Uh, I thought let's make what I've done for a few other characters. Uh, let's take the character and make them into a furry. But I mean really with the series I'm meaning more like let's make them anthro, like mix of animal and human or like humanoid, right? So the thing is that's kind of Ori Hollow Knight. So like if you're asking, hey, I thought it was like furry speed, speed arts and stuff, like what the heck? I mean, really, Hall Knight is kind of a furry already, right? It's uncommon, like, bugs don't often become, like, furries or, like, are chosen as personas. Uh, I've, I mean, they totally could be. I mean, I totally support some diversity. I love seeing personas that are, like, less common and stuff. Uh, but yeah, in the end, I would say, like, the, the vessel and like a lot of characters in Hollow Knight, they're already like anthropomorphized bugs. They're already kind of like more human than a lot of the. Oh, like then bugs are. Uh, there's definitely also just bugs in the game, a lot of the enemies and stuff. But there's a lot of bugs that are like anthropomorphized like this. So that's why I'm drawing him. That's why I didn't change them. I tried it out a little bit with like giving a bit of a muzzle or something, maybe also Skulldog-like or something, kind of just making it more of a mask or like, I don't know. But I thought let's go with this. Uh, I tried to go like slightly more like uh, fluff and like more, I don't know, carapace or like, I don't know, moth wing kind of moth coat and stuff with the mantle. Uh, yeah, just really making it more, seem a bit more bug-like. But other than that, the source material is very simple and I don't wanna want it to like, overcomplicate anything about it. So I kept it relatively the same. Um, I gave the nail a bit of detail. I thought let's uh, give it the upgrade, like, I don't know, the third or something. I don't know how many upgrades there are, but there's like one of them where at some point there's like these kind of diagonal, like lines across the blade, across his nail. And I thought that's like a cool design that I'll put in here. It's like simple enough and still cool. I thought it like achieves the, a quite cool look and design with like minimal effort, so I went for it. Uh, then on his, in his other hand, I thought let's put in like one of those blue butterflies, which I think is like Yoni's blessing or whatever. I don't exactly know what the butterflies are called, but like something Yoni, right? Yone, uni. Um, yeah, I I thought the the blue stuff is kind of cool, and in this case, I actually used it for like a cool lighting source that you're gonna see later on. Uh, I gave the knight also a lot of like void effects. Uh, I thought the void aspect of him is pretty cool. That he's like basically yeah a hollow vessel. I mean, he's kind of also a hollow knight, right? He's a knight, and he's like hollowed out by the void. He's just like kind of his outer shell with the void inside, uh, as far as I know at least. So yeah, I don't know, I found the aspect pretty cool, so I wanted to like have lots of voidiness show up, then yeah, I had the nail upgrade and the little butterfly. And with it, I thought that makes for quite a cool uh, scene. After a few attempts, uh, like yeah, it had like a bit of sketching and attempts at other plans in the beginning, but I thought this is actually pretty cool. The further I went into it, I thought it was very cool. As I had everything colored, I went to shading or weather first the highlights, because in this case, I have like a lighting source that's like really direct um, with the little butterfly on his hand. So I thought, let's take that. Let's really give him a lot of like blue lighting that goes on his like coat or this like cloak. Um, on his face, on the nail and stuff, like really sh like showing direct light. Gave off a really cool effect in my opinion. Yeah, and then I added some more shading everywhere and I like, gave the eyes a little bit more of the look like he has in the first scene of the game basically. I think there's like one really close shot of like the face of the Hollow Knight and that he, his eyes are like kind of having these uh, stripes around them really showing that he's like hollowed out basically. Uh, and yeah, it's just giving some more effects, a little bit of like 
cell shading or like not the cell shading but like more of the gradient shading some more glow, glow effects and stuff and we're done with like quite a cool piece less like typical furry but like i said it is i guess anthro and i think it's really cool i played the game i quite enjoyed it was frustrating at times but i also really enjoyed it the atmosphere the art of it it's all great quite a gem worth playing don't rush through it don't get frustrated but you know quite enjoyable yeah and i hope the episode was also really enjoyable for you guys uh, i had fun drawing this had fun talking about this and yeah see you guys all in the next one like if you enjoyed and bye 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 bye